Hi guys, uh, Mike here, Arroy Eclipse Productions. Um, today is the 31st of December, so it's New Year's Eve, and I'm literally just about getting ready to go out, as I'm sure all of you are too. Um, Happy New Year to everyone for a few hours' time, Merry Christmas, all that type of stuff. Um, it's really important to me to get this video out this side of the year. Um, I, you know, I was supposed to do it yesterday, it just didn't happen, so here we are on the iPhone again, hello, um, getting this video done for you. So. This year, really, in terms of the videos I've put up, has all been about setup, uh, getting hardware, um, software, working together through LAN, all that sort of stuff. What I haven't done is given you like an overview of the actual room um, and, a, and a kind of perception of the space that I work in. You know, moving into next year, I want to talk a lot more about sample libraries, composing, more screen captured stuff, less setup based stuff. I want to get into the actual work. Um, but I thought it was important to give everyone a look of how I work, what I use, and, and um, how I get, you know, the room that I actually sit in, sitting in now. I thought it was uh, an, you know, interesting for you guys, and interesting for me to look back on uh, where I was in 2015. So this video to round the year up is literally a walk through the room that I'm in. I'm going to talk you through the various equipment that I've got and what I use to get things done. And I'm kind of aiming to do one of these a year because things change. Um, I've, this is probably the, the fourth room that I've worked in um, over the years. So yeah, enjoy it. Um, don't waste too much time. You know, go out and enjoy yourselves. Um, but obviously, if you're watching this past the new year, I hope you had a good new year. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, I'll take you around the room, and uh, I'll see you soon in 2016. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Okay, so uh, let's jump into the room. So there's basically my workstation. Um, I'm just going to close this door behind me. Okay, so what we got? This is kind of where uh, I do everything. Everything is done, basically, in this room. Um, should I need to record anywhere else, um, that won't be done here. Um, we'll go to a recording space um, to get anything kind of organic recorded. But everything happens here. Um, basically, within the systems. So I've got down there, we've got a mid-2010 Mac Pro. And then we've got um, a Mac Mini 2015. Um, all our iLock keys some NAS drive and some hard drives. Um, most of the sample libraries are in this one. Um, we've got four hard drives in here, so that's where the majority of them are. And then we've got an internal fusion drive in there, one terabyte, and the other, other libraries are on here. Um, you know, a cable, cable central. Um, the monitors I use, oh yeah, and the additions of the uh, slightly gothic skulls, you know, why not? Um, I use KRK Rocket 5s. Um, this room is fairly small, it's a lot smaller than my previous writing room, so I didn't really need anything bigger than that, um, just near field, so I've got a pair, there's another one over there, um, exactly the same, uh, Rocket 5 by KRK. Um, they're a little, they are a little kind of, uh, they accentuate the bass a fair bit, uh, so it's something I've had to get used to, kind of, uh, over, the, over a period of time, but I'm slowly getting used to it now. Um, I use a Keystation 88 as my keyboard, that's what I use to kind of write. It's semi-weighted, um, uh, which is okay, I mean I didn't want fully weighted, uh, obviously, you know, if you're playing fast sort of uh, string um, ostinatos or, you know, percussion, you don't want anything that's too heavy on the key. Uh, and then we've got um, the numerical keyboard from Apple, the trackpad and the magic mouse. Um, monitor wise, uh, we've got a 24 inch, a 27 inch and another 24 inch and then of course the iPad just for doing modulation, uh, things like that. Here we've got um, the router that controls connecting all this stuff together. Um, so I'm using a Cisco router. Um, you want to get yourself something decent as I've said in, decent, in other videos, just make sure that everything actually goes correctly. Um, you don't lose any drop packets or any having any networking issues um, in your setup. Uh, then we've got just uh, Apple um, Airport Ex uh, Express, just for Wi-Fi in this room, basically. Um, LED strip lights, most important thing. Definitely most important thing you can put in your room. Um, just gives it a little bit of ambience. You know, if I come back and if I flip this light off, um, yeah, it just looks quite cool. You know, if you're sitting working late, um, it's nice to have a something a little ambient um, to, to go with your room. Uh, so as I move round, um, we've got um, an Audio Technica mic uh, just for when I do my YouTube stuff when I'm sitting down um, and just recording parts. This arm can basically move and you can manipulate it wherever you want to go. Really useful. Another KRK. 
Then we've got the Bosch GT8 uh, pedal set up for the guitar, which I have not used for a long time. Um, next year, I'm looking to kind of get back into playing a little more guitar. Um, my musical journey began um, as a rhythm guitarist playing relatively bad riffs from time to time. Um, I was never a particularly great guitar player, but it's something I definitely want to introduce into the scores um, as time goes on. Um, Console-wise, we've got the Mackie Onyx 1620i. Um, so you've got 16 inputs. Um, I'm basically literally pretty much just using those two. So this one here for the guitar, and then this is for the um, for the mic when I record into the into the uh, into the computer. Um, the others I don't really tend to use. I bought this kind of when I was looking to record drums, um, larger ensembles. It's at the moment it literally is just you know headphones, those two in, and of course my speakers out, and which all go in through um, XLR at the back there. Then we've got um, a vocal shield, a bass guitar, Ivan's bass guitar, and a terrible acoustic that I oh look cobwebs. Yeah, you can see I've I've played these very recently, uh, and of course you know New York. It's got to be done. Um, here we've got a guitar pick from the guitar. Oh, is that actually going to focus from the uh, from the guitar center um, in LA? If you've seen Pick of Destiny and the guitar shot there, that's where that came from when I was on holiday earlier this year. Um, down here, I've made my kind of own DIY headphone stand. So again, we've got um, all the Technica headphones there. Um, just if I need to kind of, um, you know, with of course my fragile tape, you know, really well done foot stand, you know, because I'm short. Um, then coming over to this side of the room, this is kind of my entertainment part of the room. So if I want to kick back and uh, watch what I'm working on, I'll do that here. Um, again, you know, LED strip lights. Um, yeah, you can just kick back, um, Blade Runner there. If you need to watch what you're, what you're working to, I find it's, it's good to get away from that. You know, um, watching a movie kind of with, when your door's open and you can change stuff and it's a different mindset, you know, if you're kicking back, having a drink, having a cup of tea, whatever you're doing, and watching what you've worked on, it's a different perspective, it's a more, you're consuming it rather than being in the kind of the creative uh, zone, so I take breaks regularly and basically lie and chill there, watch the film there, um, and take notes as to what could change or what could be better. Um, in here, this is where, this is going to be, God, God knows what we've got in here, a load of rubbish basically, um, CDs, microphones, various cables, you probably can't even really see um, what's going on in there. Um, fan, for when it gets hot. Um, so that's basically it. I mean, it's not its not um, a massively complex setup. Um, pretty much everything happens within these two computers down here. Um, all my libraries link. That's the other computer going by screen share, as I explained in another video. iPad, keyboard, mouse, you know, there's not too much in the way of outboard um, I very much work in the box. Um, I'm looking to add um, a UAD uh, kind of quad uh, system next year, um, which kind of, again, takes more pressure away from the computer. A lot of my videos this year have been around that, as you may have noticed. Um, it's kind of outboard in the sense that it, 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 you know, it uses the hardware within the UAD system as opposed to on your Mac. So um, that's what we're going with. So yeah, that's my kind of, uh, my working space, um, you know, and then here we've got a whole bunch of DVDs and various kind of CDs and board games and vinyl library. So, you know, all your MIDI stuff, um, various sort of books on films, sample libraries, software, stuff like that. That's kind of where I just put all my, all my rubbish. Um... But, you know, useful. A lot of these books. This was a really good book when I first started getting into film scoring. These were great for kind of recording, mastering, all those sorts of things. Um, and this is an awesome book. So, yeah, that's um, that's it. That's kind of an, a little overview of the room. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome new year. Uh, I'm literally just about to kind of shut down for the year and go and enjoy myself. Um, I will sit back down again, actually. You know, why am I still in this view? So, um you know, yeah. Um, thank you to everyone who subscribed and followed and commented and all those things this year. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in 2016 um, for some more videos and some more music fun. Okay, guys, take care. Bye-bye.